Okay, now let's take a look at adding another page. This time, we'll add a file cabinet page. Again, I don't have to call it that, but uh, for sake of simplicity, we'll just call it a file cabinet page. I want you to see what it looks like. This time, last time I had it under the initial home, and this time I'm going to put it at the top level because I want you to see what it does in this instance. Now notice, before, when I stuck it under home, it became home and then my calendar is underneath of it. Now my file cabinet page, since I put it at the top level, is equivalent to my home page and it sits on that level. Check this out. One of the things I like about a file cabinet page, like I said, this is great for a resource page. I can click on add file, add link, add to my drive, move to, or delete. So it's a great way for me to just quickly add resources in. Again, and that, this one's really the sweet thing about this one is I don't need to go into the edit mode to do that. When I click on the drive, it automatically jumps to my Google Drive and it starts to find things that I would look for. If I want to add things to this page, again, the same simple thing would be to click pencil and then here and again, now I have my edit features that are right there for me to do. Again, don't forget, after you've done your editing of your page, remember to hit save. It does auto-save, but not necessarily when you would want it to do that.